Good morning, Crossbridge. It's Wednesday, it's time for your soap update, and I wanna congratulate you on making it through twice in Ephesians and starting on your third time through. I am positive that there have been new things jumping out to you each and every time you're reading now. Um, I have loved going through this over and over and over. I feel like even though I've read it so many times, there's so much more that God has to show me. And today we close out the book, chapters five and six together. And I need to tell you, I, I could probably talk on chapters five and six, six for hours on end because this is where it gets so unbelievably practical. Paul's been encouraging this church, work together, do it together, right? So many of us, mostly myself, we begin to ask the question like, all right, fine, how? How am I supposed to do this? Give me some steps, make it practical. And I love Paul's real quick correction to that church in Ephesus, verse 21 of chapter five. He says, so be careful how you live. We gotta watch how we live. Don't live like fools, but live like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. We need to be looking for opportunities to, to do good, to be wise, to live like Jesus. So how do we do that? Well, jump down to verse 21. We really wanna live a life that looks like Jesus together and further. Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Our job is not to be in dominance over each other, over our kids, over our spouses, over our employees or employer. And, and here, Paul actually gets really practical when he talks about husband's roles, wife's roles, kids' roles, um, owner, business owner's roles. Uh, he gets into everything and he's like, guys, guys, if you don't start from a place of submission to each other, all it's gonna be is a fight. You need to submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. This is our goal. And when we do that, we're not giving up any sort of influence. We're actually gaining it because they will know that they are loved. At the end of chapter six, he begins to talk about the armor of God that we put on. And this is a very, very special passage that many people talk about. And if there's one thing I can point out in that armor of God is you'll notice there's no back piece because we are never meant to be moving uh, and turning around and going backwards. At Crossbridge, we say we take one step forward in our faith, not one step to the side or one step. We take one step forward. If we put on the armor of God, we are allowed the freedom to move forward, knowing that when the enemy shoots his arrows at us, we are covered to move forward because Jesus has our back, amen? He's got our back. And as we close out Ephesians, I wanna pray the, ser the, the very same blessing that Paul prays over his church. Because Crossbridge, I love you immensely. I'm so thankful that we could be challenged by the word, not once, not twice, but a third time this week. And so my prayer for you is the same as Paul's, and it's this. I bless you today. Peace be with you, dear brothers and sisters. And may God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ give you love with faithfulness. May God's grace be eternally upon all those who love our Lord Jesus Christ. Crossbridge, will you love? Will you look like Jesus this week? God bless you with love to submit to others that we would walk this life together. Family, I love you. I miss you. And I can't wait to see you this Sunday. God bless you.